Recently, I've been updating my Nano Talon, my little RC plane, runs on iNav, has autopilot, GPS guidance, all kinds of fun stuff. I really wanted to use one of these 433 MHz radios to get telemetry data down to my laptop, but also be able to send commands to the plane in the air. I was able to get this hardware working, but it was a bit of a fight, so I thought I'd make this video in hopes of helping someone else in the future, maybe even myself, and just generally make it easier for anyone to go about this. Once I got it working, the 3R radio did send serial data bidirectionally right to my laptop as well as my phone via an app on the ground. Very cool. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. So the setup here is my laptop on the ground, a 3DR radio plugged into it, which talks to another 3DR radio up in the air in the plane. Separately, I have the QX7 radio that I'm using to control the plane, which also has telemetry on board. Big shout out to Stu Olson, I'll link his website below. He's the one who helped me finally get this working by proving to me it could be done. So this is my Nano Talon aircraft with my F722 wing flight controller already installed. This is a wonderful flight control from Maytech that just does all the legwork for you. It handles all the iNav control and outputs. This is one of the 433 MHz radio receiver combos. They're just a 433 transceiver with USB on board on one side or both. I ended up switching this out for the 3DR version later. This one I think is fine. I think it was actually my wiring and connections. But for the purposes of this video, they both operate identically. The hardware is the same, the same firmware on board, same settings. These radios come with connections that are designed to go into the Pixhawk style flight controls or the different Ardu Pilot ones. So we're going to swap these out for DuPont connectors. I have these assortments that I buy from eBay. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just swap the pins out and slide them into the black connectors. Then you end up with basically a servo lead connection. In my case with the Nano Talon, there's tons of space in the bottom of the fuselage, but for the length of the wires I had, it was easiest to just slide it back alongside the battery here for testing. It's a good enough spot. Later on, I might move it underneath the bottom bulkhead where there's even more unused space. Then it's just a matter of plugging the connection onto your flight control. It's just power, ground, RX and TX. Make sure that the RX and the TX are reversed on the other side. RX hooks to TX, TX hooks to RX. This way your data can flow between the flight control and the radio and vice versa. Now in iNav, the software that controls the flight control is only one setting. You have to set the UART to MSP. The slider slid to the right and it'll highlight blue for the UART you're using. In my case, it's UART1. That's it. It will just work. MSP allows it to communicate in both armed and disarmed states and it will talk serial, no special protocols, no Mavlink, no nothing. Now with that done, we have to program the radios or ensure they're programmed correctly. We use the SIG radio programming config. I'll link it down in my GitHub below. It's in my drone config repo. You want to load the settings from the radio and what you want is you want to make sure that both your radios are set to the settings exactly as I shown here. Your firmware version may differ, but that should be the only one. All the other settings should be reused, unless you're using a 900 megahertz radio or something different that way. You may have to change your speed of your port. I changed mine to 57600. That seems to offer a better link. You can run it at 115.2, no problem, but uh, I like the 57.6. It seems to be stable in the air and on the ground. That's all there is to it. Your radios will have a solid green LED. When you hook up an iNav and start communicating, you'll have flashing lights just like this. 
Now this is the magic. With no USB cable hooked to my flight control, I'm able to wirelessly connect to the aircraft from within iNav. You can change all the settings on board, work with the aircraft, do whatever you like. Everything just works. Now we can set up a waypoint mission, upload it to the aircraft, adapt it, change it, send the aircraft in new directions, just monitor the mission. We get live telemetry on the screen here and it just works. I'm highly impressed. It's not as good of an interface as say Ardu Pilot, but it's plenty good enough for what I want as you can see here. And with that working, I fired up my Android phone and installed Easy GUI, the app. With the on-the-go cable, you can plug right into the 3DR radio, and then you get this. Warning. Navigation not safe. Battery voltage is 16.3 volts. Altitude 0.2 meters. No GPS fix. Now my phone acts as an enunciator and also a primary flight display if you want it. Very, very cool. Not safe. Battery voltage is 16.3 volts. Altitude 0.1 meters. No GPS fix. So what does all this mean? Well now I can use my nano talons as more like a search and rescue aircraft. If the need arises, I can put more payload in them. I can control them manually with my transmitter, fly them recreationally, but I can also send waypoint missions to them wirelessly at any time with them in the air already. That makes it really adaptable if you're looking for something on the ground or surveying or Ah, lots of other uses. Very cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.